I've ordered some huge, huge stickers. It's not easy for me to choose between the blue and this peach color. Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this uh, studio vlog. So this is just an intro. Let me close the window. Probably it is better now. As I was saying, this is just an intro. Actually, lately I've been filming a lot. I have some filming from uh, end of July uh, since now the first days of August, but I never managed to edit into a weekly studio vlog because there's a lot to do and I don't have enough time for editing and all this stuff at the moment. Uh, that's why this is not going to be uh, like a week, <laughs> a week vlog, but uh, probably more um, a monthly kind of thing. So I, th I think I will keep this channel and posting uh, monthly studio blogs. So probably it is easier for me to stick with it. So that's why I will film whenever I have something interesting to show you, or whenever I. I want to film. I hope you enjoy this footage. It is a lot about uh, unpacking new products, uh, making art for my patrons or um, designing uh, new products as well and preparing shop updates. You can always follow me on Instagram to be um, more updated. I'm sorry if I don't manage to be present on YouTube and keep a schedule that is more regular. So for every update, always refer to Instagram. Also, I'll be um, launching the teaser of my Domestica course. So I definitely encourage you to, to, fo to follow me on Instagram so that you are updated. Also, you can right now leave me a, a like and subscribe uh, to this channel. And now I will leave you to the studio vlog. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, especially if you are going to watch until the end. And I will see you really soon. Bye. Today I picked up this little package uh, which contains some stickers that I've ordered already almost a month ago. It took forever to arrive and also the, the package has been opened at the, at the customs is the name um, because I've ordered from the UK and they came with, uh, um, with an amount to pay of course with, so with customs to pay and yeah they were at the post office but anyway um just wanted to open this with you because these stickers are going to be in my next shop update and i've ordered some huge huge stickers so as you can see they are 10 centimeters and <laughs> oh my god they are so huge but so adorable and these are vinyl stickers so this is the first one you are enough and I really love it. It's like almost like a postcard <laughs> or something. But I think it's nice that you can like put it on your mirror and yes, just repeat this uh, mantra, this quote every day to start your day. I am enough because that is true. <laughs> Let's open another one. Ta-da! It's always sparkle yes, again and this one it's with bicycle and oh my god this one it's a little ruined mm, let's take the second one and yes you can can you tell how big is this <laughs> it's like almost half of my hand <laughs> and yes it's adorable what do you think <laughs> Ta -da! and yes this can be used for water bottles or on your laptop or on your planners and then the last one 
is this illustration which I'm obsessed about. I don't know why I did this for my patrons, but just couldn't help but make some something with it. And I also made the postcard with this cat. And yes, this is Mango uh, as a post post girl, post man. <laughs> Actually, Mango is a girl. So yes, here it is. Really adorable. And yeah, so now I think I will take some pictures together with this. You will find also the, the postcards. That maybe make up also a bundle, like uh, a postcard and a sticker could be also a nice idea, I think. And also yesterday I was cleaning in here my, my desk and my drawers and I found so many big grades sticker sheets or um, stickers that have been cut not not perfectly or they have like little flaws but I think these are still adorable and they, they can be used for example this one or some old stickers this for example this one are like like new it's just they are a little bit old and Christmassy so probably I will make some oopsie bags um, with like uh, probably five six pieces of this so it's a pity like to keep them here I will just make some bags and of course uh, offer them at um, discount so when they are a little bit cheaper uh, for example these ones these are not even available on my shop um, because I wasn't so happy with the with the cuts so then I um, I just uh, took some more time to, to think about them a little bit better. Stay tuned. <laughs> I will let you know uh, about that. I probably would like to create a nice packaging for these. I just still need to count them and see how to, to divide them.
I made a poll on my on my Instagram, <laughs> and I'm asking the followers uh, to vote for the tote bag because I cannot uh, decide between these three colors. <laughs> so round, right now is um, the light blue is winning. It's also my favorite, to be honest. It's not easy for me to choose between the blue and this uh, kind of peach color. I will show you a little bit bigger so you can see it better. This is the peach color, the green, which is kind of light green or turquoise and then the blue probably the blue is currently my favorite so mm, i will wait a little bit more so uh, probably until uh, tonight in the evening so i want to see how the pool goes and what my followers says and uh, said and also i asked my patron <laughs> to help me decide and on Patreon, the pitch pink is winning. So let's see, let's see. <laughs> I also got proposed to make a stamp for um, from Noishio, always with them. And then I made uh, this design, which is now flipped. So I will show it to you. So it's this one. It's gonna be a stamp eight centimeter. Um, large so it's quite huge and I thought about using again uh, mango so I think it's nice you can choose between four colors and I picked the blue just to make something different from the usual color which is black I didn't like the red so I went for for the blue and this is no issue where I'm going to order um, both the tote bag and the and the stamp and you know I collaborated with them already in the past they made me try the cards the stickers and the mm, the tissue paper and also the tape uh, which I always uh, really love so cannot wait to try out these new products the design for the backing cards for the enamel pins. I came out with this design and now I'm just printing it out making a try and see because I want to put the pin over here. I want to see so it's gonna be like this in the end and then you can get rid of the pin and probably you, if you like <laughs> you can still keep uh, the backing card because I think it's really cute. And I will just uh, make the same for each characters and just arrange it accordingly to the to the characters, of course.
the manufacturer to use uh, paper and not the single bags for the pins so let's see it seems like they used paper under all this plastic but still here they are ah oh my goodness so cute and as you can see there are some glitters uh, in the wings eee, so cute let's see the others and I really love not to have all these um, plastic bags because it's also faster <laughs> for me to check on them and see if there are some seconds some big grade and stuff let's open the other one yes Oh, this is also cute. <laughs> this is Paco's pin. Yay! <laughs> Super cute. I will be waiting for the backing cards to arrive. And then hopefully soon I will be able to arrange a shop of this. So cute! <laughs> try this uh, right now with the backing cards of the pin and see how it works so these are some of the backing cards but I had to reprint them so to reorder them because I printed the illustration too big so that's why I'm using this to make a try pretty well as you can see the corners are now <laughs> rounded and it was super super easy I love it <laughs> love it I'm so happy to uh, finally uh, I've purchased one of these it wasn't so expensive it was around uh, 50 euros so I'm really happy and also I have two sizes that I can use for the corner one is six millimeters and the other one is ten so this one was uh, six millimeter and I think it's enough I'm curious want to try also the other size but I think this one is pretty good I made this printable for my patron this month theme it is a bookshop so I thought about creating two uh, bookmarks um, that uh, are in this case paddle and mango and they just need to cut around the edge and then cut under the arm and the bookmark will stay on the paper like so. I hope this is not too big but I, I'm, I will give it like an A4 and they can make it smaller when they print it and now I want to try and cut one and build one. Probably yes, this was uh, <laughs> too big, so I'm going to remake the printable and offer um, a smaller, a smaller size. 